Hi, this is Matt from Firewalls.com. In the last video, we registered our new FortiGate firewall. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a WAN connection so that you can gain access to the internet through your new security appliance. Let's jump into the firewall and take a look. The default FortiGate firewall IP is 192.168.1.99. We're going to log in using the default credentials, which is admin and no password. When we log in for the first time, we will get prompted to update the admin password. I'm going to go ahead and change that now. I'm going to log in. Now when we log in for the first time, all of our licensing will not be synced yet because we need to configure our WAN interface, which we're going to go ahead and do now. The information we will need to configure our WAN interface can be attained from your ISP, so if you do not do not know your WAN IP information, contact your ISP and they'll be able to give that to you. The first thing we're going to do is click on the Network tab and then go to Interfaces. Now I have my WAN connection already plugged into my WAN port here on WAN 1. I'm going to click this interface and then edit. I'm going to configure an alias which will just be the name of my ISP. This helps identify the interface. And then we need to configure our public IP address. Now the addressing mode will either be manual if it's a static public IP or DHCP if the IP will be assigned automatically by the ISP modem. So here we will need to configure the IP in the subnet mask. We're going to enable all of our admin access on the outside and click OK. Now that we have our interface configured, we need to configure a static default route. The default route is, is required for static IP address connections in order to tell the firewall where we wish to send all the traffic to. We're going to point this to our WAN gateway IP address. If your WAN connection is DHCP, this may not be required as the firewall will learn the gateway automatically from your ISP connection. I'm going to click on Create New. I'm going to keep the destination as all zeros, which is the default. And I'm going to specify the ISP gateway, which will be in the same range as your configured interface. I'm going to click OK to save. In order to gain access through the firewall, at minimum, we're going to need a firewall policy from the internal to our new WAN connection. By default, this should already be configured, but just check this is already in there when you're going to test the connection. To verify connectivity, we're going to do a what is my IP lookup on Google and check that traffic is being sent out to our public IP address. Here we can see that we get internet access and our public IP address shows the same IP that we configured on our WAN connection. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel for further video tutorials and make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. For all things firewall related, visit us at firewalls.com.